Hey everybody, welcome to our channel, the Blue Creek Detectors. Um, not too long ago, Chad did a video on his favorite finds, uh, make sure you check that out. Uh, today, I'll go over my favorite finds, and yeah, we'll go ahead and get into it. Alright, so, first thing, up here on the top left, got these two full pocket watches. Um, this one found on a live dig on episode two when Denny also found that cannonball. This one found on a recent episode in the same mining town. Um, in 1928, there were probably about 70 some structures. I think it was like 76 or something like structures in this, in this mining town in the middle of West Virginia. And uh, the only way into that mining town was via a railroad. I thought that was very interesting. There were no roads. It was, you were either walking the railroad tracks or you were hitching a ride on a train. Very cool. Definitely makes you think what life was like in that mining town. Um, especially with so many people. I mean, you can imagine how many families lived in a town that had 70-some structures in it. Uh, with these pocket watches, um, it's kind of rare to find them in such, like, uh, all together like this. Like, most metal detectors is, uh, can say that, you know, you find a lot of parts, like gears, you find uh, the backings, you find the outsides, like this, uh, this, and like this. Somebody got, apparently got mad and uh, took this very nice <laughs> ornamental pocket watch lid and just like smashed it in half I mean look at that that's almost I mean these were not the same pocket watches but uh, uh, unless they were about 40 miles apart but I mean that's about the same size but pocket watches are very cool I mean you can imagine how important they were back in the day before the small batteries and modern watches and whatnot very cool uh, this, this little locket here, yes, I opened it up. Uh, the hinge is actually still good on it, covered in gold, but there's nothing inside. It was just like a, a green fuzz, if that makes any sense. This here is a lead bag seal. Uh, they used to seal uh, bags of flour and other things back in the day with these lead bag seals like they put the straps through that and then smash it down and then to open the bag you just break it open but it says CS and I like to think that it would say an A at the end like Confederate States of America but that's kind of like wishful thinking not sure what the Confederates would have to do with this but uh Found this at an 1800s mill site. Yeah, actually, I think that, uh, yeah, that we have an episode of finding this. Huh. Then over here, Civil War bullets. These might be my favorite finds because they're probably the oldest finds that I have. That, uh, you, you know, just the area that we found them. Um, these, these are 58 calibers. Uh, these are 62. This is a two ring, and from the information that I found on it, uh, they were fired by Confederates. 62 calibers. And then these three rings, 58 cals, are, were mainly used by the Union troops from what I've gathered. But, uh, yeah, find these. Uh, I feel like they used rocks as target practice back in the day because... Most of these I found around rocks. I mean, you can clearly tell the three rings and all that there. But, uh, yeah, this one I found under a waterfall that wasn't even close to any of these. It was just uh, probably out of holler, probably about, uh, hmm, I don't know, maybe 100 yards or so. I feel like it was dropped, but there is some damage to it. Then over here, Taft and Sherman, 
1908, a presidential campaign tag type thing. I mean, I don't really know what else this would go on. But can you imagine the world back then, 1908, when Taft, who did become president, was president? Yeah, that's crazy to think about the world in 1908. Then over here, uh, this one might be my favorite coin so far. It's uh, my oldest coin so far as well. 1881 Indian Head Penny. I mean, look at that green. But more importantly, there's a hole that's punched in it. I don't know if somebody put a string in there, or they uh, they wore it as a necklace, or they put it on uh, an animal or something as a collar, or... If you all have any ideas as to why they would put a hole in these coins, let me know. I'm interested to, yeah, to, to, to know why they did that. It, it, it seems like it's a common thing because I'm on a lot of metal detecting groups on Facebook and a lot of people seemingly find coins that have holes in them. Um, these are some of my Indian head pennies. Uh, these are all 1880s, 1882, um, 18, 87, 88, and this one 89. And then these are some of the 1890s ones. Uh, they could be cleaned up a little bit better, but yeah. This is a $1 script coin. Uh, this one is interesting because... Uh, Chad and I had detected this mining town every bit of 15 to 20 times. And the 15th time, I found this. Like, in fact, I found two of them the same day in the same area that I had been detecting for almost a year straight, just going out there, just keep finding, you know, all these different items. And then that 15th time, bam. I mean, the ground works in crazy ways. I mean, uh, in, in areas that I know I had been over. It's weird. Baffles me. Here, um, my favorite large silver coin that I've found, a 1908 half dollar. And look at that. Nice old big silver coin. That's a 1908. And then this... If you recall one of our episodes, I found this on a beach in Rhode Island. I mean, look at this. This is 1907. So 100 years in the ocean compared to 100 years in the dirt. Very cool. Uh, this one right here. This is a World War II German Luftwaffe hat ornament. Um, so a little bit of story behind this is there's a, a town in the middle of nowhere that we found on a map. And it is not on the 1890s maps. It appears in 1908. And then, of course, there's a large gap until 1957, in which that town is completely gone. Totally gone. There's not anything out there. But this, I found this, and not far from it, uh, I believe a 1934 Belgian coin, as well as a 1943 British coin. All in the middle of the mountains, in middle of nowhere, West Virginia. And this right here is just cool because, like, it's such a, um, such a trophy that that person brought back all the way from Germany all the way to the United States. Uh, I thought that was interesting. Somebody brought this a long way for it to end up in the ground. Um, over here... Some of my jewelry finds. These are all from 1800 sites. I mean, look at that. That's, I mean, they're all glass gems. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're glass. Um, this ring with this large clear gem. 
That right there with some of the red gems on it, I believe that's also on one of our episodes. I know this one's on one of our episodes, and then this one right here looks like a purple gem, maybe an amethyst or maybe just a glass gem. That's but this right here came from an 1800s farm that I found with a little lake on the and on the top of a mountain. Uh, it's been a while since we've been there, but yeah, I mean, look at the gold. Very cool. This little brown gem, I mean, this was a luck find. Like, this just came out of the ground uh, when I was trying to dig up something else, I think. <laughs> this, you can imagine what that is. It may be a hair clip or a brooch of some sort. Clear gems on the outside with a purple gem on the very center. Yeah, these were from 1800 sites here. Over here from 1930s and on sites. Uh, this one right here is from the 40s because, uh, yeah, I believe I found this on episode one, actually. Uh, not far from where Scott found his six coin uh, spill. That was mainly from 1945. Uh, and then this one is from a, a small town uh, not far from this one. Uh, some glass gem. I think it's a button. Yeah, a button of some sort. And then lastly, got these lead horses here. And I just think they're interesting. I mean, look at that soldier on there. I really don't know the date on it, but... I think it's interesting. Like, look at his hat. What date do you think that's from? Found this next to an 1860s ferry uh, where people crossed a river um, back in the 1860s. Annotated on a map. Very cool. And then this one right here found on top of a cliff. Actually, yeah, found this one on top of a cliff that was also where we found this. But yeah, anyway, these are my favorite finds recently, and I hope you enjoyed and or learned something. Have a good one.